everyone. Thank you for joining me for Protom's uh, webinar series. My name is Zach Harris with Protom USA. Today's webinar is measuring and vein matching a tub deck and bath surround with the ProLiner Stone Package. Uh, feel free to ask uh, any questions at the end of this webinar. So we, we are showing the ProLiner Stone Package, which is a turnkey solution for countertop templators and fabricators alike. The package is equipped with the ProLiner measuring device and uh, all the necessary accessories required for the stone industry. It's also equipped with onboard CAD software on the ProLiner itself to easily finish the drawings on site and a CETA Protom's factory software that works on a PC to help do more things uh, back at the office. So uh, now let's check out the process. First step of the process is using the ProLiner. So we're gonna set up the ProLiner in a, a good position to reach everything from one position if possible. Uh, so luckily here we're measuring, uh, you know, a, a bass around in this corner. So we'll be able to get it from one position without using the leap function on the ProLiner. Uh, we're gonna measure the sides of the surround and then the top of the surround first. And then we're gonna use the uh, trace feature or the scribe feature on the ProLiner to trace the inner rim of the bathtub. And then finally, we're gonna do some editing on the ProLiner itself uh, to optimize the file and get it ready for the factory software. So let's check on the ProLiner settings, what we're gonna be using here today. So uh, under the pen, we're gonna be using the pointer. Uh, contour, we're always gonna keep it open. And now compensation, I think my picture might be blocking it a tiny bit, but you can see just right above my head there that the compensation is set to left. And uh, just quick explanation of what that means if, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it already. The ProLiner is measuring to the center of the ball on the pen itself. So uh, when you touch on the face of an object, um, you're actually measuring a tiny bit outside of it. So if you use a compensation setting, either left or right, it will actually compensate the actual geometry to the face of what you're measuring. And all you have to do is set it again in left or right and go in that particular direction. So we're gonna be using left compensation here. So every line that we measure, we're just simply gonna go left to right on that line while we're measuring and taking points. <clears throat> then under projection, we're going to be using uh, multiple planes. We also would have an option for single plane, but for this surround, it's got multiple sides to it. So we want to measure all the multiple planes in one drawing, essentially creating a 3D view of the object. And we're going to define those planes by our first contour, which uh, means basically just taking at least three points on the face of the plane that you want to measure to. And then the ProLiner will do the rest. It'll uh, project all the points to that particular plane. And then finally at the bottom, we want the plane to be offset from the center of the ball. All right, so we're gonna be uh, watching the ProLiner user index the machine. And he's going to first set the plane on the left face there by taking uh, multiple points on that plane. So the ProLiner projects all the points to that plane. And then we're gonna go measure the floor, two points on the wall, and then two points on the front face, and then uh, two points on the top. Once that's done, we're gonna move to the front face of the tub surround, set the plane on that face. Again, you need at least three points, we're taking four here. Then we're gonna measure uh, points on the uh, right wall, two points on the floor, two points on the top, and then points on the left side to get the full geometry of that front face. Now we're gonna be changing the layer using the three button. If you press and hold the three button on the remote control, it'll allow us to move to a different plane. So now we're gonna to move to the top of the tub surround and measuring uh, the wall again, measuring the right wall. We're gonna come back and measure the left side from front to back, that's going left to right, and then the uh, front face from left to right. We'll then utilize the ProLiner's scanner attachment. So we're gonna undo our wrist strap here and place the large scanner attachment that is good for measuring uh, uh, sink cutouts and, and tub decks alike. 
easily screw it back on. And what that scanner attachment allows us to do is it, it has a sort of a, just a face on it and it, it kind of sits, it allows it to sit flush with the actual uh, tub deck or sink that you're measuring so you can easily trace around unique shapes like this uh, oval on the tub deck. And this trace or scribe feature really uh, makes the ProLiner stand out in the digital templating world. Uh, there's no other system that can scribe like the ProLiner and it really makes getting unique and, and hard shapes like ovals and, and uh, crazy curvature very easy to, to get the geometry of. As you'll see here, we're uh, just viewing the measurement on the screen of the ProLiner, just making sure everything looks okay, sort of verifying that uh, we got all the points that we will need. Then we're gonna go to edit in the ProLiner and this brings us to the ProLiner onboard CAD software, the CT software. What's nice about this software is you can actually uh, hide particular layers so you can focus on one layer at a time. You see here, we're just, we're focusing on the that left face and uh, just doing the normal uh, CAD work in, that's involved. So we're gonna go and, and fill it the corners give it a profile to uh, add a particular color to it. So we know when we bring it into additional software like the factory software, it's already really organized for us. Uh, everything's color coded. Doing the same for the front face. And finally, we're gonna work on the top. So we're gonna just single out the top layer and fill it all the corners. Now we're gonna use uh, this really cool tool on the ProLiner that we're using right now. It's a tangent function. So what this allows us to do is it, it's a smoothing tool, if you will. So uh, sometimes when the ProLiner is actually chasing, tracing the geometry, depending on how the operator does it, uh, the, um, the points might be a little rough. Well, the tangent feature in the editing software allows for us to clean that up very, very nicely. We just added a couple uh, overhangs to it. It offsetted the uh, uh, inner oval there. Now we're gonna add some dimensions to verify. And also for uh, for the guys in the shop, because this not only exports out a DXF file, but it also can export out a PDF file uh, of a report for viewing as well. Now we're gonna go and uh, create sketches of each individual plane. When we're in the sketch menu, we can view each individual piece. And again, this is uh, for the report. We can add the dimensions here and you can even add uh, specific text in here to notate anything that needs to be on the drawing. And we can move around our, our pieces so they look nice and organized for the report. We can add in some additional information right there in the field. Uh, so any remarks that you might have, any job information, any customer information. Even have a signature ready to go. And here's a preview of the report that we're gonna get. Again, that exports out as a PDF file. And finally, when we're all finished, we're going to export the drawing back out of the ProLiner. We have a couple different options here. We're gonna utilize the Bluetooth feature in the ProLiner, and we're gonna export this out to our smartphone uh, using the ProLiner's Bluetooth capability. And it goes directly to the phone, and then when you have it on the phone using the ProLiner file transfer app, you can easily select the project that you want, select all the uh, files in that project that you want. You can even snap some pictures of the job and that'll uh, add a JPEG along with that project folder. And you can easily email that directly from your phone back to the office. I'm gonna select our files here, select which mail that you wanna use and send it on out.
All right, so that was the first half of the video, the first section of the video, I guess, measuring the ProLiner and uh, measuring with the ProLiner. The next step is we're going to bring what we did from the ProLiner into the Proton Factory software. This is where we can actually uh, align our parts and actually add a thickness of the material here so we can align everything uh, with the actual material involved now, basically extruding the shapes to the thickness of the material. And then we can add, uh, actually paste those measurements or that geometry onto one of our digital slabs that we have saved in the Proton Factory software. So we can get a, a very accurate and a nice looking vein match and have this ready for production. So let's check out what that looks like. Kind of pick up where we left off here. Uh, we're opening the file in our Proton Factory software and we're going to uh, import the files on the factory and we're gonna open them up in the draw advanced software portion of the factory. And first step, we're just gonna rename uh, each of the pieces so it's a little bit easier to see which ones are which. And we can do a little bit of additional editing here in the factory software. Uh, it's nice when you import PRL8 files, it gives you like an interpolated data or like a raw data line. So when you do start messing with some of the geometry here, you can see the original geometry from the ProLiner. So nothing gets uh, really out of whack for you. You can assure that you hold the accuracy. Here we're just uh, sort of squaring up the corners. And now we're gonna add our glue and material offsets to each side. And this can be whatever it calls for. So whatever 3CM, 2CM material that you're using, or even uh, uh, porcelain, 12, mil 12 millimeter, six millimeter. And what we're gonna do now is add some intersections here. So we're basically growing the uh, 2D geometry to correlate with the 3D geometry. So now that, that top face is going to be extruded or offset out to meet the, the side in the front face. As you see there, so now we actually have uh, the full piece of material for the top. We're gonna do the same for the uh, front and the left side. And this, the draw advanced software actually, uh, so green means that nothing is touching. Orange means that there is a collision, but it's a, a good collision, meaning that uh, that the pieces need to get, uh, or that they align correctly with each other. Red means that it, it that it's no good. So now we just know that these pieces are gonna be mitered together. And now we can assign a specific profile, which tells us which pieces need to be mitered and what angle the miter cut needs to be. And we can also assign different profiles uh, just for other cutting operations, which can be added in the library of the Proton Factory software. Again, we're gonna, in the factory software, we have to create production pieces as well. We wanna separate these pieces so we can nest them separately onto the digital slab that we choose. And now we can view our pieces for our report as well as how it's gonna be nested on the digital slab. And we can also, in the Proton Factory software, just like on the software on the ProLiner, we can add dimensions to verify as well as uh, to make a nice clean report. You can also add some little bit of notes in here to uh, notate any information that is needed. We can get our angle dimensions, any dimension that you think you would need, we have it available. Here we are adding uh, wit, what means what, we're adding to like a little legend or a little key. And you can even add a particular material in here just to kind of give a good preview for the customer. 
now we really want to match the pieces on the slab. This is where the uh, real production part takes place. As you see, we have different cutting operations assigned different profiles. So when we bring these into the match portion, which we're in now, we can go ahead and choose one of our digital slabs that we have. We have a webinar uh, showing how to add digital slabs into the factory library. So I urge you guys to check that out if you haven't already, or you can contact us for more information. We'd be happy to show you. You can see that we can move our pieces around and it'll show if uh, they're conflicting with each other, if they're going to hit each other, especially with the added uh, geometry, what the tool's gonna do for your uh, CNC machine. So as you see on, on the corners of those pieces, you see the overcut in the saw and we can align our parts so we have a, a more efficient cutting operation as well. And this is just sort of showing the design that we're gonna have. Now we can move the pieces in unison together and get the best match possible. We can also view it in 3D to make sure everything looks correct. Move it around and you can sort of see if you may get a better match somewhere else. And it shows it in real time on, on each piece. So you have the 2D view, the 3D view, and how you're nesting it on the slab for yourself. And we can go and so now we're creating a, uh, a saw layout. So this actually helps create a, a DXF file uh, for the nested geometry to import directly into the CAM software that you're running for your particular saw. We can save this nested file. This also exports PDF. So to give you uh, just a report on everything that we did here. So it shows the, the individual pieces, how they're gonna lay out on the slab. And it also gives you the a report of, with some dimensions of the uh, DXF file that you're gonna, the nested D DXF file that you're gonna use for production. So it'll have uh, some dimensions on there. So whoever is cutting the, this uh, job is gonna be able to easily verify that everything is correct. Now we're going to publish these files to the particular folder that we want them to go to. And now we have a, a 3D preview that you can show your customers um, and also the report preview for your guys in the shop that are cutting the job. And that's the ProLiner Stone Package. That's uh, some of the, just some of the things that it can do. Um, but as you see, it makes uh, doing, you know, multiple planes and, and tub decks that used to be sort of a pain, pretty easy process. And you come with a very, very nice finished result. Uh, here's some examples of some of the things that our customers have done. So I challenge you guys to go out and see if you can master this as well. I want to thank you guys for attending the webinar today. Uh, we're going to have uh, some more webinars here coming in the future. So I urge you guys to join those as well. Uh, feel, please feel free to contact us for uh, your tailored solutions. And uh, yeah, we'll join some of the experts in, in the next webinar. Looking forward to seeing you guys then. Thank you.